Then, um, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Tom Cruise. Do you see Tom Cruise is filming Mission Impossible? And he landed his helicopter in Warwickshire. He just landed it in a garden. He said to the people, this is what he said to it. He goes, that, um, he went, uh, they couldn't tell the people who lived in the house. They had a big garden. Coventry Airport was closed. They couldn't tell the people who was landing. They just said, there's a VIP landing. And they couldn't tell who it was. And it turns out it was Tom Cruise. He lands on his helicopter and leaves. And they're all going mental. Oh, my God, it's Tom Cruise. And they got a picture. I thought, oh, you can't let people get away with that. Imagine they go, there's a VIP landing. And it's the Taliban. Here's the Taliban. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Sheikh Abdullah Mullah from the Taliban. He is, he is very respected in Kabul. <laughs> eh? What? What's going on here? It is okay. I am coming in the house. The women, please, please, out, please. Yeah, he's a VIP, mate. Get a picture with him. I mean, what are you talking about? I mean, did anyone feel the tension there? Because I think I did. Uh, <laughs> he's laughing. We've got to talk about the Taliban. You've got to talk about what's happening. I mean, it's mental, isn't it? In Afghanistan, I don't even, it's crazy, isn't it? The Taliban, so the basically, the I don't think anyone here does understand the principles of what's happening, but the Taliban, basically, they're going in, they're, they're taking over, and they, and they basically, well, they're taking over, and they go, right, what we're doing is we're sending all the women home, right? If you had a job, women can't work anymore, you're going home. And you would believe this, right? I know some of you are probably thinking, God, that's mental. It's not, I, I, I travel all across the UK. There's people in the Northeast, there's women there in the Northeast, there's people here in Birkenhead. The women are petitioning, who work in the pound shop all day for eight hours, going, when are the Taliban coming? Right? I don't, I don't want to be stood in a shop all day going, it's a pound, mate, it's a pound. <sighs> These women are watching the news going, oh my God, if I lived in Kabul, I could be home watching loose women. Why am I in this shop? <sighs> Jesus Christ. This is the craziest thing about the Taliban. Let me tell you this. The Taliban, they, this is what they said when the Taliban went across all of Afghanistan. They went, oh my God. And then Kabul fell like this within two days. They went, oh my God. It's, turned, it's turning Afghanistan into the hands made tale. You know the TV drama? I watched The Hands of Made Tale, mate. It's not anything like that. It took me three months to watch two seasons of The Hands of Made Tale. They took over Kabul in two days. I mean, I mean, they could have made The Hands of Made Tale quicker. It would have been better. And then they were like this. They literally, literally, they, this is the weirdest thing, right? You, the kids, you're too young for this. I remember the Taliban the first time around. The Taliban, right, you're too young. The Taliban were around in the 80s and the 90s. The Taliban are like, they're just middle-aged blokes who've got no skills whatsoever. They don't know what they're You see about the six of them on a van driving into a city. After the, most of them have been like overweight, messy like this. They're going, inshallah, one of them's got a megaphone and a Quran. That's all he's got. I've got no military ta training whatsoever, but I reckon I could take him. You know what I mean? It's like... I mean, someone needs to just say, all right, lads, the joke's enough, back to the cave, right? You've had enough, right? And I was like, they are literally, they're middle-aged blokes. This is the thing, if you've got the Taliban, if you literally went in there, you've got them, give them a wash, trim the beard, stick them in the northeast of England, they would fit in, they'd blend in, they don't even have to, they wouldn't even have to change their views on women, right? They'd be, they'd blend in. They'd be like, good. I can't even believe it. Like, what she wants to. <laughs> she thinks she wants to get to work. Are you mad? <laughs> what? Are you going to leave me here looking after the kids? What? <laughs> I can't even be drinking in the garden on my own trying to look after the birds, man. <laughs> Half of them kids are not even mine. I don't even think so, mate. <laughs> Dave, give me the Quran. Let's get her back home. <laughs> give me the Quran. I don't think so, love. Come on. <laughs> 